Hi, boys and girls. Well, today we're going to read about playing with friends. I really like playing with my friends. It's one of my favorite things to do. I get to share activities. I get to do a lot of fun things with them. And we usually have a good time. But playing with friends in the present might look a little different than when playing with friends in the past. So we're going to be comparing past and present playing with friends. And I can see that on the cover of the story, we have a black and white image because long ago in the past, they didn't used to be able to take color photographs. Well, now we can take colored photographs in the present. So I wonder what playing with friends was like in the past and what it's like now in the present. Playing with friends. <gasps> Table of contents. So I know I'm going to be getting some information that will lead to a new wrinkle on my brain. Things in the past, they've already happened. You can't change what's happened in the past. It's done. It's over. It might have been a day ago, a week ago, a month ago, or a year ago, but it's in the past. Things in the present are happening now. So I can change things in the here and now, in the present. Playing with friends has changed over time. The way children play with friends today is very different from the past. So I can see in the past, here in this black and white picture, the children are playing on scooters. Wait, I have a scooter and there's a bicycle. I have a bicycle. So that doesn't seem too different. But here these children are playing an electronics game. Mm. That wasn't invented in the past. That's pretty recent. In the past, children played simple games. Some children played marbles. So in this game here, you have a circle on the ground and it's your job to try and hit the kitty, the biggest marble or the center marble out of the circle. And then you can be the winner with the most marbles inside the circle. Today, some children play computer games. Well, we already talked about how computers were not in the past. So that's something that's different. In the past, children listened to stories on the radio. When I was a little girl, every Sunday, my little sister and I, we would listen to the radio and we would listen to stories like Diana and the Golden Apples, Flick the Fire Engine, and Tim the Tugboat. Uh, there were all kinds of stories. Oh, and Bad Jelly the Witch. That was one of my favorites. That was on the radio. Today, many children watch television. When I was a little girl in New Zealand, we only had black and white TV and we had three TV stations. That's it. And then as I got older, we got a color television and that was really special. And we got all the way up to four channels. And then I came here to America. There were so many channels on TV. I couldn't make up my mind what to watch. In the past, children swam in rivers or lakes. Well, some of us still do that. Today, most children swim in swimming pools. Well, I like doing that too, but I've also swum in a river and in a lake. So that's something we can still do in the present day. And this one says, always swim with an adult, trying to be safe. In the past, children wore roller skates. That's where you have four wheels uh, placed in a rectangle on the bottom of your foot. Today, many children wear roller blades. That's where the four wheels are just in a line under your foot. And I noticed that the children in the past, 
They weren't wearing some things that we wear today because we learned about safety. I don't see any knee pads or elbow pads or any helmets. I see cloth hats. It's not really going to protect you if you hit your head hard on the concrete. In the past, most children's toys were made of metal or wood. Today, most children's toys are made of plastic. And here I see they've used labels. So we have metal, letting us know the frame of this rocking horse is metal. And I noticed they used the word plastic to show us that the horse is made of plastic. Plastic is a fairly recent invention in the grand scheme of things in our timeline. In the past, many toys were handmade. So somebody had to use tools in their hands to build the toys the children played with in the past. Today, most toys are made by machines in factories. So not many people make the toys now. So when someone says, oh, that's handmade, that means somebody used their hands to work the tools to make it. But a lot of our things now are made by robots and computers and factories. In the past, some children wrote letters to friends who lived far away. I used to write letters home to my mum each week when I first moved here to America. But now, now I use the internet and I get to see her on the screen. Today, some children use a computer to talk to friends who live far away. That's definitely something different from the past. In the past, children played jump rope with their friends. Today, children can still play jump rope with their friends. There's a lot of girls playing jump rope in that picture. I've seen some boys playing jump rope too. It's pretty fun. So I want you to think about what's one of your favorite things to do with your friends? Hmm, I think one of my favorite things to do with my friends is to play board games. I wonder if they had many board games in the past. I'll have to look it up and find out. I, I think that's something I could do with children in the past. They must have had board games too, didn't they? I'll have to look it up. Maybe I could use the computer to find out the information I need. Think about what is something you like to do with your friends. Could you have done that in the past? Tell me about it and we'll see if you can do it in the past with your friends or if it is just something you can do with your friends in the present.